Uh, the Gecko is a device that's been used in professional sport uh, for a number of years to try and enhance recovery uh, after uh, sporting exercise. Uh, I've been using it as part of a clinical trial uh, to see if we can get benefits for our patients. Simply put, it's a small uh, me mechanical device that sticks onto the calf that stimulates the muscles to pump the blood back. Uh, this should aid recovery, uh, reduce swelling, uh, enhance healing, and we also hope that it will reduce risks of things like DVT. Well, I had, I've had two total hip replacements. The first one was two years ago at the Harbour Hospital. Um, and I went through, obviously, the compression stockings and the foot pump. Um, this time round, I was part of a, a controlled, randomised trial and was fortunate enough to have the Gecko device, which was, I have to say, absolutely brilliant. Um, the difference was the stockings are hot, uncomfortable and nightmare to get on and off um, and also the foot pump is on your leg 24-7 which is really uncomfortable especially at night time. This little gecko device which is strapped just to below the knee um, sends the le electrical pulse through the leg and after 10 minutes you are totally unaware that it's on your leg or both legs um, and no stockings, no foot pump, brilliant. It's quite a small uh, unit about the size of a, a watch um, and um, it stick, it's got an adhesive on the back and it sticks to the patient's leg uh, around a nerve called the common perineal nerve. Um, and when we turn it on, it then stimulates uh, that nerve. By doing that, it um, gets uh, the muscles going in, in the leg and there's then contraction of the calf muscles. Um, the main benefit uh, that we're finding is that it will, um, by the calf muscles contracting, it compresses the veins going up through the uh, lower leg um, and has benefits in relation to reducing or increasing circulation and reducing uh, the chance of um, the potential for having blood clots in the, in the calf, um, especially for the post-surgery um, patients. Um, by increasing the amount of um, contraction you're getting down there, there's also potential benefits for reducing the amount of swelling that you can get um, in the leg, which under normal circumstances is quite hard to control. There's a sort of funny little feeling of a, a pulse going down your leg and coming out of your toe, <laughs> the best way to describe it. It's not unpleasant, it's just an unusual feeling. But as I said, after, after a very short period of time, you just don't notice they're on. You switch them off when you get out of bed. Very easy, just a little button to press. Um, and on one occasion, I got into the shower with them on, forgot that they were there. So they even got wet and still carried on working. Jacqueline used the gecko uh, when she was on the ward, uh, and that was for primarily used for um, uh, looking at reducing the chance of her getting a blood, blood clot in her, her calf. Um, and she's made very good progress. She managed to go home after um, four days um, and she's um, currently walking with crutches and um, she's happy with how she's, um, she's getting on. Yeah, I'm going to be getting back to my golf as soon as I possibly can and that will be within 12 weeks. Um, I'm just get my, I'm walking the dog of course, be, within the next six weeks. Um, I'm already on, on um, just the one crutch, probably the next week I should be on a stick. Um, and my, my recovery is just, even the physios are really, really pleased with the way I'm recovering so quickly. Uh, we're excited about the gecko. We're halfway through a clinical trial. The initial findings are encouraging. Once we've finished the trial, if it supports its use, it's something we hope to be able to use on all our patients uh, because it's one of those additional things which may just give our rehabilitation the edge uh, over other hospitals and help our patients get back to their normal lives as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.